I find the EOS 1D Mark III to be an ideal camera for shooting football. No camera, no matter how advanced, can compose an image for you or decide where to focus. That's still the photographer's job. But the 1D Mark III is a precision instrument that can be customized in various ways to optimize its performance for football. Set the camera up properly and be precise in positioning the AF point on the subject when shooting, and you will have a much higher rate of keeper images. I always shoot an AI servo with the motor drive set to high, 10 frames per second under ideal conditions. I use the AF on button on the back of the camera to initiate focus. And after years of shooting transparency film, I still prefer to measure the light with a handheld meter and set my exposure manually. Sometimes, when the light is changing unpredictably, I will use aperture priority automatic exposure, and I find the matrix metering in the 1D Mark III to be very good. While the automatic white balance setting on the 1D Mark III is very accurate, I usually use the daylight setting. Or if I'm shooting at night or indoors under consistent floodlights, I'll do a custom white balance. Since I almost always shoot raw, I can correct the white balance easily in post-production. I prefer Apple's aperture to edit and adjust my images, but Adobe Camera Raw, Lightroom, and Canon's Digital Photo Professional also do a good job. If you prefer to shoot JPEG, Canon's picture styles enable you to fine-tune the look of your pictures so they come out of the camera looking great. I find that the 1D Mark III's autofocus works best for me and gives me the highest frames per second rate if I manually select a single AF point. Then I can shift the point quickly around the frame as necessary when changing from horizontal to vertical, for example, using the multi-controller on the back of the camera. A simple press of the multi-controller button always brings the AF point back to the center of the frame. The 1D Mark III offers 57 separate custom functions, but I'm only going to talk about a few that are especially useful when shooting football. Custom Function Group 3, Option 2, allows you to speed up or delay the AI servo tracking sensitivity to objects that enter the field of view. After experimenting with different settings, I find that the default setting of zero works best for me. I also leave Custom Function Group 3, Option 3 on the default setting zero. This gives priority to achieving accurate focus on the first shot, then uses focus tracking priority after that. This can slow down the firing rate somewhat, but results in more frames in sharp focus. If you're confident about selecting what you want to be the focal point of your picture, then Custom Function Group 3, Option 4 is useful. I want to make the decision as to what the camera will focus on, so I set it to 1, Continuous AF Track Priority. This way the camera ignores any new objects that suddenly enter the frame. I set Custom Function Group 3, Option 5 to setting 1. When focus isn't achieved immediately, this setting prevents the camera from hunting, going all the way to infinity and back before finding focus. In AI Servo, Custom Function Group 3, Option 8 offers the possibility to expand the focus point to include assist AF points. This can be helpful when achieving focus with only one point is difficult. Setting 1 activates the left and right adjacent assist points, while setting 2 activates all surrounding assist points. I use setting 1 on the body with my longer lens and I find it quite helpful. But I've found that when shooting with a shorter telephoto, where I'm usually including several people or more in the frame, that I get more accurate results using just one AF point. So on the body with a 70 to 200 to 8, my setting is zero. Custom Function Group 3, option 9, is set to setting zero to use 19 of the 45 selectable AF points. Setting 2, which uses the outer 9 AF points only, also works quite well. As I mentioned earlier, I like to use the AF on button on the back of the camera, rather than the shutter release button, to initiate focus. This is controlled by Custom Function Group 4, option 1, and I use setting 3, which allows the shutter release button to function as the auto exposure lock. If you prefer to use automatic exposure, there's a new custom function on the 1D Mark III that you'll find very useful. Custom Function Group 1, option 8, allows you to activate ISO Safety Shift. It's setting number two. If you're shooting in program, shutter, or aperture priority modes, and the light changes dramatically, the camera will automatically shift the ISO up or down so that you still get a correct exposure. Think of using ISO safety shift when there might be bright sun in one part of the field and deep shadow in the other, or when the sun is playing hide and seek on a cloudy day. I've always had a tendency to shoot as tight as possible. To be honest, sometimes too tight. 
It's probably a result of shooting transparency film for so many years where I needed to use every available bit of the frame. But I've also lost a lot of pictures that would have been good if I'd only composed a little bit looser. The superior quality of digital, especially in poor light and at higher ISOs, makes cropping a more acceptable option than it used to be. I even know a few photographers who use a 1DS Mark III to shoot football so they can take advantage of the large file size when they crop. You can crop a picture to make it better, but you can't make a frame bigger after you've cut off a player's feet or the top of his head. Here's another tip. Most photographers shoot with one eye closed. It's natural when you're trying to concentrate on what you see in the viewfinder. But I've learned that keeping both eyes open when shooting action can be a really helpful technique. The eye that is not looking through the camera has a much wider view of the action and can see what's happening outside of the frame. It takes some getting used to, but if you learn to see both views at the same time, you'll be better at anticipating and framing the action.